What is going on guys? It's Chris back with Palmer Aquatics. Tonight I want to talk about one of my favorite floating plants known as Salvinia Minima. This floating plant is really taking off in the house and it's doing amazing. And I want to show you guys my tips and tricks for how to grow this easy Salvinia Minima floating plant. So first of all, uh, we have tried pretty much every type of floating plant in the house. We've tried frog bit, we've tried uh, everything, dwarf lettuce, uh, everything. And Sylvania Minima has been the easiest floating plant and we've had so much success with it. It is by far our most successful like floating plant in the house. So here's what it looks like. And as you can see, it, uh, it almost looks like a little cat tongue. This stuff's really cool too. They actually eat this stuff in other countries as like a like a vegetable. It's really crazy. So, um, first of all, my advice to you if you're planning on growing it, you're gonna want very stagnant water flow. And what I mean by that is like the surface of the water should be still, kind of like these tanks you can see right here. We have sponge filters in the back, but it's very minimal flow. And I'm gonna advise to you if you have a hang on the back filter you're not gonna be able to grow this stuff. And hey, what? What do you want, Whiskey? Leave us alone, let's do video. What do you need? You want some video time? Yes, we still love you. Yes. Sorry, my children are so needy. <laughs> so uh, as I was saying, you're gonna want super stagnant waters. I highly advise you get one of these like hang on the back sponge filters. Um, that's what they look like. Sorry about the, I'll kill the lights. Uh, but yeah, any sponge filter will work. What you want is just very minimal flow. And that is that is the same with pretty much all floating plants. Same with water lettuce, frog bit. They love stagnant waters. As you can see, none of this water is moving. And if you're gonna be using a hang in the back filter, it's not gonna work. So now that we have that figured out, now let's talk about lighting. This stuff isn't very picky with lighting. Anything in between the color spectrum of 5,000K all the way up to 6,500K. And if that confuses you, that's essentially just the color of the lighting. This is 5K, it's a little more yellow than like your generic aquarium lighting. That's more like 6,500K, 6,500. Um, if that's too technical, what I'm trying to tell you is um, get yourself an aquarium light that is pretty, decent, pretty high powered, you know, um, uh, some of the basic ones that they sell on Amazon really do the trick. Like for instance, this light over here, this is a Niku light, super simple. Let me go in the office here, shooting some videos. That's what's up. This is a Hyger light right here that's hanging. And as you can see, the Sylvania Minima is taking off. We really utilize floating plants here in the house to kind of like as a filtration essentially. So um, so my three key ingredients for growing Sylvania Minima, the floating plant, is very, not that much surface movement. Secondly, get yourself a decent lighting that's decently bright. And third, lift the aquarium light above the tank. You know, ideally you want it like five, six inches tall. That way um, it kind of spreads out the lighting and a lot of floating plants do not care for the light to be right against it because it burns it and it doesn't spread out and feed the other plants. Uh, let's take off some of these, uh, some of these lids and see what's going on underneath. This is mainly just duckweed. And you know, some tanks, the Sylvania Minima or, uh, you know, it's kind of a hit or miss of what plant, what floating plant desires to take off in a tank. Cause sometimes, you know, certain fish pick at them or it just doesn't last. This is a mixture of both. That's Sylvania Minima. It doesn't, you know, like there's a ton of, that's one more, that's one more key to know. If there's tons of like water being shot in the air, kind of by like this air stone, these floating plants do not like it because as you can see, they're wet and these things prefer to be dry. So look at these little puffers, little pea puffers. They're so cute. This is probably the best looking tank in the house right now, if I'm being completely honest. My girlfriend um, deserves all the recognition for that. These are all rhizome plants, except this is an Amazon sword that we feed with root tabs. 
All right, guys, I guess that's about it. And please, guys, subscribe to the channel. If you like fish tanks and found my videos helpful at all, the least you can do is subscribe, right? Or like the video, I don't know. Also, you can hit up my main channel, Palmer Aquatics. I do tons and tons of cool stuff. This is my lifestyle, just kind of doing videos and doing fish tank stuff. So without further ado, uh, please hit up the comment section and let me know how this aquarium floating plant, Sylvania Minima, came about into your life. What's your plans with it? I want to hear from you, please.